Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on a simple NPC shop using diamonds as currency. Uh, now if you guys watched my previous video on some of the other NPC shops and the more complicated ones, a lot of them have the NPC located in one area of the world and then the commands located in another area of the world and the commands are located in a ticking area and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, this video does not do that. It um, does not need a ticking area. The NPC is going to be located above the command blocks. As you can see here, you could fit up to like six layers of um, commands here. You could do six sets of commands with the NPC if you just keep digging deeper below them. Um, I have this layer sort of as an example here. Um, so the concept is here that we're going to have an NPC um, with one advanced setting command typed inside of him and he's going to set redstone block down to this space here exactly like that one is and this command block is going to erase that redstone and then these commands are going to run at the player. Um, so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video here. The first step is we're going to have to get ourselves an NPC which if you're not familiar with that you can go ahead and get yourself an NPC by running a summon command so you can go summon NPC in the chat here and then you would type in your coordinates so tilde 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 and then hit enter and then a random NPC will jump to you and this generic person here you can go ahead and pick block that NPC so you'll have a spawn egg and then once you have a spawn egg you can go ahead and head over to where you want to actually store the NPC in the commands and place them down once you have the NPC placed down you're going to need to note exactly how you orientated your NPC so I have my guy here is standing two blocks above this spot here. If you were going to try to set that spot there, he's four blocks above that. So you're going to take note of that. And then we're going to go into the NPC and you can choose a name and a skin form and stuff like that. Then you can go in here and we're going to do a command. We're going to do set block, tilde, tilde, tilde. And then on the second tilde, meaning the Y axis, we're going to do negative two. So that's two blocks under the NPC like we were just talking about. And then we're going to do redstone underscore block. You're going to put that in button mode and you can go ahead and write a description on what you're selling. I'm selling eat beef for one diamond. And then when you look in the advance or when you look in the edit dialog section, this is what a player in survival mode would see. So you can go ahead and click eight beef one diamond and you can see I didn't have any diamonds, so nothing happened. And then we'll give myself a diamond here. So now I have one diamond and we'll click that one more time. And you can see it says eight cooked beef received and I have eight beef in my hot bar now. So to make that happen, we have that redstone block comes down here, and then this first command block is all by himself. This command block sets air, it's impulse unconditional needs redstone, forward slash set block, tilde tilde tilde, air, and then I have negative one after the third tilde. And again, what that means is you have to orientate yourself in the world. So if you look at it, this command block is right on the right hand side of that air. So we're trying to set one block you know, to the left here would be negative one on the Z coordinate if you watch my coordinate. If we were trying to set in this direction, for me it would be plus one on that X coordinate, that first coordinate. So you're going to want to see where you have to put your um, negative one or your plus one, and then you're going to put that correctly based on where you're orientating the world. You can practice that, and that should put a block of redstone in there, and then it should get instantly erased before you come back down there. If the block of redstone's hanging around, you've not done that step right. Once you have that correct, you can go ahead and set up a little chain of commands here. It's one, two, three, four commands long. Uh, one impulse command and then four chain blocks command long, rather. And this first command is a impulse unconditional needs redstone, forward slash clear at P, diamond zero, zero. And then this second command is a chain conditional always active, forward slash clear at P, diamond zero, one. And then this one is chain conditional always active, forward slash give at P, cooked beef, cooked underscore beef, eight. And then this is the actual item type that I um, chose here. So you can choose anything you'd like. And the eight would be how many that the player receives. And then I wrote a little tell message. This is optional. You don't have to do this here. So it's chain conditional always active, forward slash tell at P, eight cooked beef received. And then if I click in here, you can see I use that little color symbol and a lowercase a to accomplish that green color. 
And then another optional command would be a good sound that happens when you have a successful purchase. And I did forward slash play sound random dot level up at P, and that's chain conditional always active. You don't actually have to do those last two commands there. If you want to keep it really simple, you could do these first three, um, as well as the error block command. And then um, the only thing you guys want to make sure that you be careful of is that all these commands um, are all at P rather than my previous videos are specific to an XYZ coordinate. So this is sort of the simple version. Um, we're just assuming that no one else is really standing near this NPC. The issue is is that if you were another player, for example, and you were standing up on top of that player right next to the NPC and you wanted to purchase the beef, but I was standing right here by chance, it would most likely select me as a closer player to the command block than you, and it will do the transaction with me rather than you. So you just have to be careful that if you're doing things at P like I am in this video, you're going to need to make sure you have the NPCs sort of spaced out and you might want to build a little booth around the NPC so to speak or something like that so that only one player can be there at a time. Well in any case if you guys found this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe here over at Arctic Shark Games on YouTube and Arctic Shark Games on Twitch.